On today's Top Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how we can take the Cinema 4D mocap data and models, take that cool animation and prep it so we can use it in a cool X particles simulation. So let's get started. In our scene then, we have this mocap data. This is just from the Maxon Asset Browser. This one is called Fireball. And uh, what we want to do is make a particle simulation using this. So first of all, obviously, we need the geometry as well. So let's go to the Asset Browser. We're going to go to the Motion Capture Options. Um, here are all the different Motion Capture Options. The Fireball is in here. But we've also got a model that's set up for this. So let's double click on that. We've just got this male puppet. Let's bring that into our scene. And all we need to do for this to link that to this mocap data is to go to our tag here this is the character solver tag and all we need to do is drag in from the fireball this character definition tag that's already on there so if we put that as the source and we hit play now that is hooked up and we've got our perfect Hadouken excellent right so what we want to do is do a particle simulation from this mocap Let's just have a look inside our male puppet character because in here we've got the various uh, different um, uh, joints. Uh, we have got the uh, character controls and targets and whatnot. And we've got on the male puppet mesh, this is all of the geometry um, from our model. And you see it's all separated out here in different body parts. Right at the bottom, we have our skin deformer. Uh, and this all together is how we get the model to uh, follow along with that mocap data. Pretty cool, all done automatically really, um, and very easy to use. However, what we want to do is do some particles. And let's say we want to just emit from the whole object. Uh, what we need to do first of all is join all this together. We can do that procedurally. Let's just highlight the um, null and we are going to hold alt, go to Insidium, X particles, utilities, XP join and now all of those objects are joined within this one join and we can emit particles from it. So let's do that. We're going to go to Insidium, X particles, emitter and bring an emitter in. Going to go to the object tab and we're going to set it to object mode drag in the join as the object we want to emit from. We want to emit from all of the surface, so we want polygon area for that. And we're going to stick particle to source object. That's the effect that we're going to go for. And then in the emission tab, we're going to go to shot. And let's put this on, say, 3,000 particles. So now if we hit play, we should have particles stuck to the object as it animates. And it's looking pretty cool, but there's a slight problem. We have a frame lag. Look, if you just dolly in, you can see, look, they're running behind. And that's not going to work for us. And this is uh, just a, an order of operations issue within Cinema 4D that we can't get around. So how do we do this without having that lag? Well, what we need to do is convert these objects that are being deformed with our skin deformer into a, a point level animation polygon object. And then we're going to have a rock solid object to work with. So um, the best way to do that, um, and this is the way that I do it, is with our join, I'm going to right click and we're going to bake as Alembic. We'll bake that down. And once we have an Alembic, there we go. So now we've got our Alembic. What I'm going to do now, obviously, you wouldn't do this um, in production, but I'm just going to delete out everything just to keep our um, just to keep our uh, object manager clean. There we go. So now we've just got our Alembic called XB join and that's working fine. So if we go to our emitter, we're still going to have the same issue here because this is a generator generating every frame. So there's going to be an order of operations problem. Let's go to object, drag in that join on the same settings and we're still going to have that slight lag. So now what we can do though really cleanly is convert this Alembic into a polygon object with point level animation. Uh, let's open up our timeline. The easiest way to find the command to do that is if we drag the object into the dope sheet of the timeline, select it and go to functions, bake objects, and we, we want to have create copy selected here so we, we, we can keep our Alembic should we wish, but we definitely want PLA, point level animation. We need that keyframe data. So let's say, okay, 
it bakes it down and now I would normally urge you to keep it but for us to keep it clean I'm going to delete the alembic and now this is a polygon object and look it has PLA point level animation data every frame so every single vertex within this model its position is recorded every frame and because we have the PLA if we use this as our emission point let's go to our emitter drag that in what you're going to see is rock solid particles sticking to that object that is perfect and this is the best state to have an object in to use with particle sims and motion capture very cool so just to demonstrate now we've got this um, because we linked this with a join and it was lots of separate objects if we go to the polygon mode let's just dolly in and hit uf for fill mode we are able to select all those separate body parts as polygon selections um, for the way in which it was baked down with that join which is cool so let's just select the hand I'm going to hold shift and select the other hand and then go to select and let's store that selection we get a polygon selection tag here look let's go back to object mode and then in the emitter we're going to keep the object as our reference object but look we can drag in that uh, polygon selection and now we're only getting particles on the character's hands so you can really be precise on where you're defining where your particles are going to be which is important for different types of effects cool so let's just do one example of a very simple effect here um, let's go to the emission tab we're going to reduce the emission way down to maybe 25 particles and then we're going to create a trail from this let's go to insidium x particles generators trail and we don't want full scene trails we'll make these trail length about i don't know maybe 25 with 12 variation hit play and now yeah so we're getting these cool trails vroom as our character animates so that is how we can prep the mocap character um, animations into really good geometry which is solid for use with x particles and nexus simulations